everyone. Just wanted to come to you with an encouraging word today. As I was praying, the word gratitude kept coming up in my heart. And I wanted to uh, minister to you and talk to you about that today. Um, towards the end of 2019, I was spending some time away uh, on vacation and just spending some time with God, praying and seeking out what to do for the next year and what he had it, uh, for me to do. And one of the things in a time of prayer, he said to me that in 2020, he wanted me to spend more time in gratitude and in worship. And I do that some, but he wanted me to amp it up last year. And so I did that. And uh, at different times, it was wonderful. Um, just focusing on, you know, not all the things that were going on around but when I started focusing on uh, being grateful uh, for God in my life being grateful for all the things that he's done in my life the people he's put in my life you know it just kind of turns some things around and change your focus uh, as well and so I uh, even in my own home uh, now I have what I call a gratitude wall and on that wall I have uh, on that um, a sign that says gratitude is a magnet for miracle having gratitude is a magnet for miracles and then you know a very so often when I something comes up in my heart I'll put it on a post-it note and put it on the wall of these things that I'm grateful for in Psalm 100 verse 4 and this is the Amplified Classic. It says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and a thank offering and into his courts with praise. Be thankful and say so to him. Be thankful and say so to him. Bless and affectionately praise his name. And you know, I just remember this one particular time uh, during last year that I just had in my heart just to spend uh, a few hours one morning with him and I just begin to thank him over and over and over again for all that he's done in my life, where he's been in my life. I had such a tremendous time. And uh, so I just wanted to encourage you in that, that you know, there may be a lot of things that are going on in the world right now but you always have something to be thankful for. You always have something to, to be grateful for. And so in Philippians 4, 6 through 8 in the Amplified, it says, Do not fret or have anxiety about anything, but in every circumstance and in everything by petition and prayer, definite requests with thanksgiving, continue to make your no, uh, requests made known unto God. You right, might remember that Paul and Silas was in a difficult situation. They were in jail. They were beaten. They were in stocks. They were in chains. And, and it says that um, at midnight, they begin to sing and give praises to God, thanksgivings unto him. And so much so that in the midst of their circumstance, which was a dire circumstance, um, that the the ground began to shake uh, there was an earthquake their uh, chains and fetters fell off of them and uh, the prison doors opened God did an amazing thing in the midst of them offering Thanksgiving and gratitude to him so guess what we're gonna do we want to create an atmosphere for God to do some miracles in your life. So let's just take a few seconds and let's just thank him. You might think, well, what do I have to be grateful to God for? Are you breathing? You can thank God for being able to breathe today. And so, uh, you know, are your eyes, what do you, let's just thank him right now. So Father, we just come to you right now and I just thank you for you are God in our life. Father, I, we exalt you in this moment. We are thankful and we say so. With thank you that we have breath. We're thankful that we have hearing. We're thankful, Father, that we have our senses about us. Father, uh, if we're all born again, we thank you for being born again. We thank you, Father God, that you love us. We thank you so much for a provision that you made in our life. We're so grateful to you, Father, for our homes, for our houses, for our our families, for our cars, for money in the bank, for meals, that we're not missing a meal. We're so grateful and so thankful unto you. Father, we want you to know how much we appreciate your keeping power that you've kept us from so much last year. And even if we did experience something, we still experienced loss, we still had you. And so, Father, we're so grateful for that. I'm getting stirred up just doing it myself. And so you just do that. When things just start cr crowding in on you, Find something you can be thankful to God for. Maybe write it down. Start your own gratitude journal or uh, find a time, you know, specifically during the day that you can just sit down and just start counting your blessings, naming them one by one. Count your many blessings. See what God has done. Amen. God bless you.